What's going on, everybody? How are you doing today? Here I am at Forest Lawn in Hollywood Hills. Uh, I've been here a lot in the past few days. Um, I was going to keep the intro short to the point, and the video probably is going to be pretty short as well. Uh, Matthew Perry, who we lost about a week and a half ago, depends on when I put this video up, um, whose service was held here, right at this church. It's called uh, Church of the Hills also known as the White Church. There's a red church here on the property as well. Um, all the photos that the paparazzi took with drones and helicopters, and I assume mostly drones, of the Friends cast coming in. That was all right there, right past that tree to my right. And then Matthew was interred up at the Court of Remembrance, and we're gonna go up there in a moment. I'll just take you around here. It says service in progress. There is no service in progress right now. Uh, the sign's just always there, and um, you can tell because there's no cars around. I was out here two or three days ago, the day after Matthew's service, I was out here filming something else with my friend Pete, and we took some video as we were walking around doing something else. I took some video near where Matthew is, and I'll probably search some of that as well. Um, I've been, to say I've been, I, I've been... And, and I've been bombarded with people asking me if I'm going to visit Matthew Perry's grave and photos of Matthew Perry's grave being sent to me and things like that. And that's very sweet that people want to see it and want me to cover it, um, hopefully in the way that I do, which is not intrusive and after the fact. This is out of ordinary for me somewhat to be doing it somewhat soon, but... I just thought, well, a lot of people want to see Matthew Perry's final resting place. I know where he is. And, um, again, I did his house last week where he sadly passed away. We still don't know the exact cause, reason yet. As of when this video, when I decided to put it up, there could be something released. I'm going to donate the proceeds uh, to a foundation, either heart disease or one of Matthew's. Um, uh, something Matthew cared about, which was addiction and recovery. So, yeah, I don't want to, you know, I, I, as I've said, I said in the last video, I'll just say it quickly, I've never tried to be the first, especially when it's something morbid, never tried to be the first, never try, you know, to get it before anyone else. I, it doesn't matter, it really doesn't. I go on my own time, whatever. This is something that so many people want to see. And it seems to be a lot of bit, bit of misinformation about where Matthew is. So I thought I would, I thought I would do it. And uh, with uh, with a heavy heart, because I'm a huge Friends fan, a huge Matthew Perry fan, and a fellow Canadian. And um, yeah, we're gonna make a donation from Scott on tape, viewers, subscribers, to something that was important to Matthew. So the proceeds will go to that. Let's just take a look at the church, and then we'll go on up to where Matthew is interred, which is just unbelievable. It's so sad to think about. So all those shots you saw of the Friends cast was here. Now it does say service in progress right now, so there could be, but I don't think so. There's no cars around. There's nobody around. Very, very quiet. What's interesting and sad about where Matthew is interred, where he's buried here, is Warner Brothers is just across the street. And of course, Warner Brothers, where he spent 10 years working on Friends, just right across the street. Like directly when you leave Forest Lawn is Warner Brothers. The door is locked. That's why I didn't go in to show you, but I've been in before a long time ago. It looks like a church. It looks exactly what you think it looks like, and it's beautiful inside. And I'm sure the service was uh, sweet and dignified and absolutely heartbreaking for his family and friends that were inside. little less sun now um, 
So I mentioned that when I saw pictures of the funeral, which uh, were being sent to me without me even looking them up, and I do things only because I want to do them, and I hope that my viewers and subscribers want to see them. You know, I get a lot of requests to do things, but this is somewhat of a request, and somewhat also I want to I want to cover it. Um, just to get that out of the way that I I'm I want to be here. It's just very very sad and bittersweet. One thing I want to say before I well, I'm going to show you that there's Betty Davis's grave and there's pictures of the funeral procession procession going in here carrying Matthew this way up these stairs and I saw that right away and I knew I knew that Matthew was in this section because of where Betty Davis is. What I was going to say was um, when I uh, uh, an Instagram post I put up about Matthew got a ton of likes and my video on him is doing well but it's bittersweet and I was telling a close friend back in Toronto talking about it and also talking about it with Pete from Totally Asian because he was here with me for a few days spending time from Kentucky it's I'd rather 100% like a video I do on you know I don't know a filming location or um, a fun video about Eminem you know something like that get that amount of likes or that amount of views when it comes to something you know I it, I like it because you know it's people that want to pay respect to Matthew and see Matthew but it doesn't give me I'm not sitting there going oh yeah great awesome views awesome so I want not at all because to put it bluntly for one of my posts or videos it, that does well be and it's the subject of somebody dying recently somebody had to die for that to be successful and that's you know it, it, like it's i just as you can maybe hear my voice it's just a crisis of conscience sometimes when here so early and it's i'm not putting it on at all so i'm just like oh it's great that it does i you know for matthew you know for people remembering him and it gave people a place to come and write about him and the remembrances of him and things like that but it's definitely bittersweet because i'd rather the world have matthew perry uh here you know what i mean than any sort of success for me for my channel and my instagram 100 percent. but i appreciate everyone watching and sending me info and direct messaging me it's a huge outpouring of love and that's all for matthew He's back here. We're going to go back. Now, when I was here the day after the funeral, I think it was right down over here. We'll go. I'll show you what I saw, unless it's gone already, but I do have video of it. There was uh, a grave that had been, obviously, the service had been held possibly on the same day or the day before Matthew. And you could tell because the earth was on top and covered up with all the flowers and all that I think it was right over there but it could be on the other side we'll take a look and initially when we came in I think it was on the other on the one that went up I thought oh well that's got to be Matthew his final resting place there but there was a giant wreath that said dad so I thought hmm it's probably not Matthew because he had no kids now it was more than one service on the day. And I did see a bunch of flowers. What's odd is I did a video on Aaron Carter a couple of days before that, the day before I went to Matthew's house, I did a video on Aaron Carter in his final resting place. And I had passed the uh, Matthew, oh no, that was where I had passed. Let me just look through here. Oh no, here it is over here the same grave where uh, that's above Matthew now I had stopped and looked at it which was very odd so I'd actually been there before Matthew was even interred right in front and was looking at it now I've mentioned a lot of Matthew's film and TV credits let's not forget he played Roger Azarian on 90210 Beverly Hills 90210 in the first season a lot of people might forget that um, over here 
This is where, where the tent is set up. I believe that is where I was the other morning when the flowers were out and fresh dirt piled upon another grave. May that person rest in peace. So I took some quick video there. And then wandered around and found where Matthew was. And that's where we're going right now. He's going to best be remembered as Chandler Bing on Friends. But let us not forget that he wrote a very, very just heartbreaking and really open memoir just recently talking about his struggles and addictions. And I've just started listening to it. I do read, but when I'm on the road, it's a little difficult. So I've been listening to the audiobook and it's heartbreaking, funny, everything. And I urge everyone to read it or get an audiobook, whatever you can do. Matthew is right here to my left. Plot 1972. So when I was here the other morning, see all stems left over here. There were huge, huge bouquets. And I initially thought they were for this one when I was here, for this grave above, but they match, the flowers match. This was all white, the white flowers. Um, roses, I'm guessing. I'm not a flower guy. White, white roses piled just all around. If you're looking for Matthew, there's information on Find a Grave, courtesy of my friend Craig, who is invaluable to me. I love Craig. You've seen it in some of my other videos um, where we've gone to Forest Lawn Glendale a couple of times. A, a brilliant, sweet man, and he confirmed this for me. And there's Matthew. One thing I should add is, cannot be 100% certain when there's no information given by the cemetery yet, and also when um, there's no faceplate, nameplate. But one thing Craig has never let me down before, Craig, one of Craig's relatives is right opposite, and I'm not sure who, I should have asked him, I said uncle. It would be Corey, could be Steven, beloved husband, father, couple, Bianco, MD. He said opposite, on the opposite wall, so it could be down there, but he said, who's uh, related to his aunt, Gloria, who was a famous actress. And we talked about that on a couple of other videos. So he knew this hallway quite well. So thank you, Craig, you are incredible. And here we are again, we're sitting, and that's the final resting place of Matthew Perry. Ah, <sighs> yeah, and it's very sad being here, of course. 54 years old, young, beloved, laid to rest way too early, sanctuary of treasured love. Right over there, son's not our friend right now, that's Debbie Reynolds and Carrie Fisher, Sanctuary of Treasured Love. Come in, look for that statue, beautiful. And then, immediately to your left. Matthew's right here. He's able to find a white rock that matches. I'll just put it there, right, right there for in remembrance sign that I've been here and that we've been here. Everybody watching. And we'll make a donation. We'll find out what exactly caused Matthew's death or I think a really good idea is to a cause that he was very, very um, passionate about. Might be the better one. I don't know. Craig was talking to me about knowing his by the vases, how new they are. And they are both new, these ones and these ones. So it looks like that was a recent burial as well. There's always a chance that is Matthew's grave and not that one. 
when the nameplate goes up, we'll know 100%, but I'm 99.9% .9 sure due to Craig. And um, just what I gathered the day after being here at the funeral, just what I saw, everything was here, right around this grave. And if people will sometimes ask me why, and I don't have all the answers, but why is like a celebrity, like you see Carrie Reynolds and Carrie Reynolds, Carrie Fisher and Debbie Reynolds with uh, something, you know, so big and that sort of thing. And then there's just simple nameplates on the wall. Sometimes it's all the person wanted. You never know. And the family just wants to put their name You never know. I went into great detail on another video about that, about why some celebrities have huge, huge markers and headstones and other ones have very simple ones. It's family's choice, their own choice, you never know. As I've been sitting here, some fans or friends of Matthews have shown up to my left and kind of just left me to sit here. So I'm going to let them have a chance alone without me here muttering in the background. But there's Matthew Perry right there. Rest in peace, Maddie. So that was my video about Matthew Perry and his final resting place. To sum it up, 99.9% uh, .9 sure that is Matthew Perry's grave uh, after being here the, the following day after the funeral for something else and wandering up here knowing that he was buried up here, and what I saw, and then what Craig has told me, what's online now, but mostly because of Craig. The guy's just, he knows everything about cemeteries in Los Angeles. He's encyclopedia, it's, it's incredible. And I love you, Craig, thanks man. And I hope everybody enjoyed this video and is able to mourn Matthew, um, possibly through the video, pay your respects through, through the video, and, I'll put a link below to my other video I just did about Matthew where I spoke more about his life and what he went through and all, everything like that. It's heartbreaking, heartbreaking. Friends, fans all over the world, all over the world are grieving. Hope Matthew's family, friends are coping. It's gonna take a long time for a sudden death like that. I'm sure each and every one of us have experienced something like that in our own lives. And, it's not something you ever get over, but it's something with time you're able to deal with, hopefully. And to all his fans. I hope this was able to bring some closure or something you want to see. It's a video I never thought I would have to make about Matthew Perry. Well, not have to make, but that I would make. Matthew Perry, the cast of Friends. I was hoping for a reunion show 10 years from now. That whole thing. I think we all were. But it looks like Matthew is healthy, enjoying life near the end, and that's way more important than any friends reunion or something like that. Rest in peace, Matthew Perry. Thanks for watching, everybody. Love you all, and peace out.